Hello, everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 187 JavaScript on Power Pages Lists. In tip number 185, I talked about using JavaScript to add custom logic to basic and advanced forms. In this tip, I'll look at how JavaScript can help with lists as well. By default, lists are displayed as tables on Power Pages sites. You can use JavaScript to modify that table, including either adding, removing, or changing the contents in the columns. Since paging in the lists is handled via asynchronous JavaScript calls, it's important that any logic you perform happens each time a new page of data is shown. So it isn't enough for your JavaScript to run on page load. Instead, you need to attach to the loaded event on the list. This is typically done using jQuery by adding an event handler to the loaded event on elements with the entity list and entity grid classes. Within the event handler, you can then target the cells of the table. By inspecting the markup of the table, you'll see a few data attributes on the rows and columns that can provide useful information. For example, on the TR element, you'll find data-ID, data-entity, and data-name attributes. On the TD elements, you'll find data-type, data-attribute, data-value, and data-th attributes. These provide you the details on the data itself, like the ID of the Dataverse row and the types and values of the columns. Using standard DOM manipulation techniques in the event handler, you can remove cells, add custom cells, or modify the contents of a cell. A common use case is to change the background color of the table cell based on the status of the row. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 187 on JavaScript on Power Pages lists useful.